Welcome to the Sudoku Academy by Sudoku X. In this expert series, we build on the advanced skills acquired from playing at hard levels. As you encounter increasingly complex puzzles, you will need to further refine your Sudoku solving skills. These expert tutorials teach techniques and strategies that bridge the gap from hard to expert gameplay. Today, we will introduce an elimination technique called the XYZ wing. Before proceeding with the XYZ wing technique, it is strongly advised to have completed the Y wing tutorial if you haven't done so already. The XYZ wing operates in a similar fashion to the Y wing. Both techniques involve three cells. However, the distinction between the XYZ wing and the Y wing lies in the pivot's involvement. In the XYZ wing, the pivot holds not only two candidates, but also a third, which is typically the same number Z that the pincers share in the Y wing. This third number, which could end up in any of the three involved cells, can be eliminated from cells that intersect between the pivot and the pincers. As a result, the XYZ wing always operates across two blocks. Generally, the XYZ wing provides fewer elimination opportunities compared to the Y wing. Let's look at an example together to understand this technique better. To start, we must identify a cell containing exactly three possible values. Let's focus on the highlighted cell with candidates 2, 3 and 4. This cell will serve as our pivot. Next, we closely examine the board to locate the pincers. The pincers must be in the same house, either the row, column or block as the pivot. Analyzing the row and block containing the pivot, we discover two by-value cells. These cells each share one candidate with the pivot and have a shared candidate, number 4. Now let's examine the placement of number 4. We take the pivot as a central starting point. If the number 4 would be placed in the pivot, then the pincers would hold the numbers 2 and 3. Conversely, if either the number 2 or 3 is placed in the pivot, the 4 ends up in one of the pincers. Consequently, and although we do not know yet which cell, the number 4 will end up in any of the three cells, allowing us to eliminate the number 4 from any cells intersecting with the pivot and pincers. Let's remove the 4s from the highlighted cells. After removing the 4s, we can confidently place the 5 and continue our game. Super! Be sure to check out our other videos for additional elimination techniques on your path to becoming a Sudoku master. Practice your skills with Sudoku X and master the game at expert difficulty levels.